Hello my friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you are new, hi, hello, welcome for your first time. My name is Kaylee. I'm so happy you are here. Sorry, my phone is <laughs> stuck in my back pocket. I got it. We're good. Today I am taking you through a day in my life and here are the priorities of the day. The main priority is to find the dress that I'm going to wear to family photos next week. I have family photos next week and I'm stressing out because, um, it just came too quickly. Um, I'm not prepared. I don't have outfits for any of my family, but this may sound selfish, but the priority is me because I have way more, you know, issues with my body and what I wear. So today we're going to head to the store, find something that I find comfortable, that I feel good in, and then we're going to base my kids' clothes around that as well as my husband's. Because the thing is, I know my kids and my husband will look good in whatever. I'm the priority. I'm the special one here. I need to get my Halloween costume ready as well. Here, let me show you my planner because I was just updating it. Dreamer and Doer planner by Lost Weekend Co. Um, I'm obsessed with this planner. It's a Disney themed planner because I am a Disney fanatic. Okay, let's go to October because I was just looking at October because it's almost October. Here we have family photos, okay? Saturday, I have a Halloween party, which is um, with the Utah Disney community, and it is at East High, which is where they filmed High School Musical, and I am so excited, <laughs> but I have no idea what I'm going to be for Halloween, so I'm also stressed. Um, the next Wednesday, I have book club, and I have not touched the book. I don't even own it. And I can't get it on my usual audiobooks, so I have to like physically read it. And I have a hard time physically reading things lately. So I think today we need to go try and find that book so I can buy it and get it done. Um, and then, then this Friday, Taylor Swift movie. Um, I'm going to a big event of that with the Utah Disney community again. Um, and I need to dress up for that and I don't know what I'm going to wear. So just a lot of things going on. Plus, you know, we have real Halloween. We have um, my family's Halloween party, my husband's family Halloween party. Like there's just so much to do this October and I'm kind of stressing out. And I'm hoping I can take you guys through a lot of it because I love this time of year. Halloween is my favorite holiday. It's so much fun. So I'm hoping to take you guys through a lot this month, but I'm a little bit stressed. <laughs> Another random priority is picking up my mascara because I'm running out of this one. Also, I don't like it. So I'm going to go back to my favorite one. I always get my favorite mascara and then the next round I buy a different one to try something new and then I go back to it and then I try a new one and then I go back and then try a new one. So that happens every time. So we're going to go back to my favorite though. Um, I'll show you it later. That's what's going on with me. What's going on with you? How are you? Are you doing well? Are you feeling good? I, I don't know what else. Are you as stressed as I am? <laughs> I need to get my girl's hair done before school. School starts in one hour. So let's go get some girl's hair done. And then we can party. Not party. Uh, we can go shopping. Who's ready to go to school? We're doing a fun run that like fun run with. Fun run. Okay, so we just discovered I was we all got in the car and I was like, oh, hey, you're all wearing pink. And then I was like, oh, yeah, I'm wearing pink. So we're just all pink today. The Barbie pink land. No, Barbie no, pink land. No, no. Zoe's voice is missing. Mm -hmm. It's She's on day three of her voice being gone, but she's otherwise healthy. So I don't know why her voice is gone, but it sounds really cute. Okay, I just got to Target and Old Navy is like right next door. So those are the main stores that I want to shop for, for a dress for me. And then Ulta is kind of across the street, so I need to go over there after. But I was just reminded, right there, in between the Target and the Old Navy used to be a Barnes & Noble. And it is, 
it was like the only bookstore in the area and they closed it and I'm really upset because I I grew up in this area so that Barnes and Noble has been there like my whole life and it was my bookstore my whole life okay um so it's gone now and they're redoing it to a different store and they chose Marshall's and I am now a Marshall's hater because like why why do we need a Marshall's in between a Target and an Old Navy? Also, right next to the mall. Also, a Burlington is across the street. There's no need for a discount clothing store right here. I want a bookstore. And like, when they were closing Barnes & Noble, I was like, well, maybe they'll put like a toy store because we don't really have one of those either. Um, but no another discount clothing store we that we don't need i'm now a marshall's hater so sorry to anyone here who likes marshall's i'm a marshall's hater <laughs> Well, I definitely did not plan to spend my entire time in Target, but I just spent like two hours in Target and I don't have time to go to the other places because I have to pick up my kids from school. I might still stop by Ulta and just like run in, um, but I have to pick up Aria at 3.15 and it's 2.48, so maybe I'll stop by Ulta. I'll show you everything I got once I get home but I did buy a few things I did and I'll, we'll talk about it later you guys I made it to Ulta and I picked up Aria just in time she's playing a coloring game on my phone right now um Aria how was school what did you talk about my dog. my dog yeah they were talking about pets today and you could send in a photo of your pet. And so I sent in a photo of Aria with our dog Zoram. And so nice she got to talk about Zoram. Okay, so I'm back home and I wanna show you guys everything that I got. First, Ulta. I grabbed my favorite mascara, which is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. This is my favorite, as I mentioned, it's the one that I always go back to over and over again. I don't know what it is, I just love it, it's my favorite, but it's so expensive and that's why I keep trying new ones, but I just haven't found one that I like, so. Give me your mascara recommendations, that would be helpful, but this is my favorite. Everything else I got from Target, um, that was not my plan. First thing is this pair of jeans. Now, I have been looking for a pair of jeans that I wanted to thrift, okay? I wanted to thrift a pair of jeans for just a couple dollars because there's a project I want to do, um, which I'm planning to make a video on, but 
for my Disneyland trip, I wanted a pair of jeans and I want to decorate them with Mickey Mouse, okay? So I was planning to go to the, the thrift store to get that for a couple of dollars. And then I found these that fit me really well. And um, this Target brand, the Universal Threads, is my favorite pair of jeans anyways. And this one was on clearance and I got it for $7.20. <laughs> so, um, I now have a really good, decent pair of jeans for my project and I'm gonna put Mickey Mouse on them. I'm so nervous about it, but um, these pants, I do think look kind of weird in this area, but um, the, like you can wear a shirt that's longer, longer and like, it's, I don't think it's that big of a deal. That's my only complaint. And like even the pants I'm wearing right now, I don't always love this area as well. So the partially on my body, partially on the pants, but yeah, I think that these are a decent pair of pants. They were shorter than expected. They're weirdly short, but like I was gonna roll it up and cuff it anyways, so it works. I'm excited for that. Cause I only got them for like $8 and they're perfect for what I need, so yay. The next item that I got is this black skirt which I am dying over. It is so cute. And I have been actually looking for a skirt like this. I wanted a skirt, if I'm being honest. Um, but this is just a skirt. No shorts involved. But it is so, so cute. I will link this down below. Um, this costs $22. The next item is this t-shirt which is like a Disney spirit jersey, but this is not like a thick one or a sweatshirt one. This is just like t-shirt material, but I thought it was really cute. Um, and I even tried it on with the skirt, which is one of my outfit inspirations for my trip and it looked really good. So we might do that. This one costs $20. $19.99. And then the last item, very impulsively, I found these fluffy socks. And if you know me, I'm a huge fan of socks. I have so many socks, <laughs> um, especially fluffy, cute ones. But these ones are cows, which are my favorite animal. So we got this adorable little cow. And then these ones are just cow print. But like, these are so cute. I am in love. I was just walking by and I saw them and I was like, you know what? Need it. These were $7. You may notice I did not get a dress. <laughs> and as you saw, I tried on a lot of dresses. The ones that I kept leaning towards were the ones that were black. And I was like, you know what? I already have a ton of black dresses. My favorite though was the black with like the white buffalo checks. That one was so cute. And I almost got it. But the problem is sizing. <laughs> um, the medium fit, but it didn't fit my chest correctly, and it was a little uncomfortable. Also, I had the hardest time getting it over my hand. I don't know what that was about. It had buttons that I could have undone, but like, I don't know why it was so tight to get over my hand. Just this one. Not even the one which, with the watch, just this one. I, is my hand swollen? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, the medium was, wasn't perfect and then the large just like looked too big and so it just wasn't what I was wanting and I came across the same issue with this skirt where I ended up buying the medium which is a tiny bit tight in the waist but the large was like loose and sliding off of me um and I and I wore it with the bodysuit and without um because the bodysuit does suck me in a bit more but I just I don't know it was really frustrating my size is really frustrating right now because one I'm trying to lose weight and failing over and over and over again and two I'm like in between medium and large and I never know what size is gonna fit me and it's so frustrating I don't I hate shopping for myself which that's why I wanted to look for my dress first for photos 
because I just, I, it's such a struggle for me. <laughs> if you saw that like black jumper denim dress, I am in love with that dress. But again, size issue. I had tried on the medium because that was the only one that I could find and like it fit, but it was super tight right here and like hurt my ribs. <laughs> they didn't have a large and so I couldn't get it. Um, I had tried on the large in the jean denim one and I liked the black one better. So I'm gonna check another Target because I really, really, really want that dress. <laughs> okay, Aria is doing her online school, so sorry if you hear that. <laughs> But I wanted to show That's you what she made at school letters. today. This is my pet. And she made a unicorn. There's its horn and there's a rainbow. Isn't it so a good? Apple. She did an amazing job. It's so beautiful. B. Butterfly. Aria, I love your unicorn. It is so cute. Hello, so my husband came home and then it's Monday, so he had a soccer game, so he's gone again. And it is about 8.30 at night. I don't think I'm going to make it to the gym. So, we are currently doing a YouTube workout and we're doing, it's a Taylor Swift Eras Tour workout. I can't read that from here. I need glasses. I'm going to work out. I'm gonna end this video here. Whee! What are you saying? I love the outfit. Oh, you like my shirt? Yeah. Daddy gave it to me. Aww. It's for a 5K that I did not run. They just had extra t-shirts. And so my husband gave me the shirt. Yeah, yeah. All right, goodbye everybody. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>